uh, na kutakea adhuri njema okay um the commission wishes to update the country on the status of election preparedness one on the issue of biometric voter verification we wish to announce that biometric voter verification will commence on the 11th of may to the 9th of june this year a similar process for kenyans in the diaspora that is burundi rwanda south africa tanzania and uganda will take place between 15 to 30th of may uh, this year the biometric voter verification process is provided for in section 6a 1 of the elections act which mandates to open the register of voters for verification of biometric data by registered voters at their respective polling stations for a period of 30 days further the commission upon expiry of the 30 days of verification as provided for in the law we revise the register of voters to take into account any changes in particulars arising out of the verification process the commission has trained its staff on the Kenya integrated elections management system the uh, schemes the uh, gadgets that will be used for the verification process all the 10000 gadgets for that exercise have been delivered across the country and like in 2013 where verification machines were received too close to the polling day the IBC is now interacting with the technology 3 months to the elections the commission calls upon all Kenyans to go to the verification centers and confirm their details the biometric verification process will give Kenyans an opportunity to familiarize themselves with the technology that will be used in the general election we therefore appeal to all registered voters to visit any polling station within their ward where they intend to vote to confirm their particulars we wish to underscore that this process is only for those Kenyans that registered to vote there is no window to register as a new voter until after the general election is over audit of the register of voters the election laws amendment act 2016 requires that a professional reputable firm audit the register of voters in that kpmg has been contracted to undertake the audit kpmg has held a number of consultations with political parties civil society the interreligious council among other key stakeholders to explain the methodology to be used for the audit and other processes on the 24th of april this year the commission presented the register of voters as at 6th of march 2017 after the countrywide closure of the voter registration exercise to kpmg for purposes of the audit this is the same register that is currently being loaded on our kins technology for purposes of biometric verification of voters we wish to explain that from a technical perspective it's imperative that the same register being audited by kpmg is the same that voters are using to verify biometrically the purpose of the two parallel processes is to give the commission every opportunity to improve the accuracy of the register of voters prior to the certification and gazetting of the register of voters for the 8th august uh, general elections the register will be updated with one any relevant findings and recommendations from the ongoing audit of the register of voters to the results of the voter verification exercise as appropriate the commission will therefore be in a position to address issues of deceased voters in correct data capture and any missing details disputed voters in the register either on the basis of age or any other issues that the audit may find 
and then prepare the final register. The Commission will continue to inform the nation on this audit process as required by law and uh, the audit report will be submitted to Parliament and Senate uh, when it's complete. Transfer of officers uh, to various uh, stations as provided for in section 391A and 1B of the Elections Act 2011 the Commission has gazetted 290 staff to serve as constituency returning officers and 47 county returning officers. We wish to reiterate that the transfer of officers is a normal procedure in any institution and within the Commission. The criteria that was used to move staff around the 290 constituencies was transparent and made known to all our staff. Our goal is to make sure that we continue having our electoral staff serving with impartiality and integrity as guarantors of fair, free, fair and credible elections. It's worth noting that our returning officers were recruited from each of the 290 constituencies and will serve in any part of the country with high levels of integrity. As a commission, we want to assure the country that we are committed to ensuring that all polling stations are resourced to deliver a free, fair and credible election. I wish to comment on voter education. We will start our voter education program on uh, that's the 10th May today with an objective of sensitizing, educating as well as mobilizing registered voters to verify their registration details by 9th of June uh, this year. This will encompass a collaborative and inclusive awareness campaign that will focus on stakeholder engagement, media, and field outreach activities. The stakeholder engagement forums will, place, will take place at the national level, county, constituency, and ward levels. Engagement of 2,900 voter educators are at the ward level. Engagement of the media, both traditional media, of electronic and print, as well as digital platforms, is already uh, in place. Partnerships and collaboration with state and non-state agencies in provision of voter education programs, such as schools, institutions of higher learning, the private sector, professional bodies, as well as civil society organizations, is also a component of our water education uh, program. There will be a max rise in the use of digital platforms, such as media, social media, and SMS, in a strategy to widen the audience, out, audience reach and interaction. National Conference. Following discussions with political parties and other stakeholders, the Commission will convene a two-day national conference whose theme is working together towards credible and peaceful general election. This will take place from the 12th to 14th of June at the Kenyatta International Conference Center in Nairobi. This conference will seek to promote complementary complementarity of roles of all stakeholders in fostering national cohesion as well as achieving credible and peaceful 2017 general elections. It will also invite the participation and commitment of key stakeholders, mainly political leaders, government institutions, the judiciary, public benefit organizations, faith-based organizations, the media, private sector, and development partners to a peaceful, transparent, and credible 2017 election. Election timelines. The Commission will continue to remind the public of key elect electoral timelines. Political parties and aspiring candidates should note the following. A political party intending to participate in the general election shall submit its party list of nominated candidates 
in fact primaries to the commission by the end of today by midnight of today that's 10th of may this year the submission of the list of nominated candidates will be done electronically as stipulated in regulation 18 of the election general regulations 2012 the commission wishes to draw the attention of all presidential candidates that they submit to the commission the list of the 2,000 supporters from the majority of counties, both soft and hard copy. In this regard, all presidential candidates are expected to submit the list of their supporters from between 18th May to 22nd May this year on 21st floor. Uh, that's our office on 21st floor. All candidates must attend pre-nomination meetings on 23rd May this year at venues to be communicated by the Commission. Presidential candidates have to submit their nomination papers for clearance to the Commission at the KICC between 28th and 29th of May. For the County Assembly Ward Representative and National Assembly position, uh, independent candidates and political party as aspirants have to submit their nomination papers for clearance to the Commission's returning officers between 1st of June and 2nd of June. Senate, gubernatorial and county woman member of the National Assembly position, together with the independent candidates thereof, and uh, political party aspirants have to submit their nomination papers for clearance to the Commission's returning officers at the county level between 28th May and 2nd of June. The Commission shall thereafter, in line with Article 884F of the Constitution, register qualified candidates for election and indicate those who have been disqualified. Disputes relating to and arising from registration of candidates shall be determined within 10 days of lodging the same with the Commission. Uh, thank you very much. That is our status update for today. Uh, Tabitha, you want to go? Yes, thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Chairman. We will do, um, the ICT team will demonstrate how things work. Then we can have question and answer session where you can ask questions arising from the demonstration or the chairman's uh, speech. And remember, we'll also post the speech on the website and give you a few copies. So the ICT team, please. So good morning. So, uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Okay, yeah, I'm here to just demonstrate uh, the technology that uh, shall be deployed. Yes, yeah, so uh, we're here to demonstrate the technology that we intend to deploy uh, during the voter verification. And uh, the name is uh, Kenya Integrated Elections Management System. Um, 